Welcome back everyone to another video here on the Unknown Coder YouTube channel and today we are back with another Lead Code video. This one is a little bit more tricky, it's still categorized as easy, however it takes a little bit more logic, a little bit more thinking to actually figure out. And the problem that we're working on today is Height Checker and the description is that a school is trying to take an annual photo of all students. The students are asked to stand in a single file line in non-decreasing order. Again, something to note here is the non-decreasing order. From shortest to tallest, I'm a short guy, so as I always at the front of the line, it stinks. By height, we're going to let this ordering be represented by an array called expected. And expected i is going to be the expected height of the ith student. So all of this is basically saying is that there's going to be this array that they're going to check against and they don't give you this array so you kind of have to think about it yourself or figure it out yourself but it's just saying that this is going to be the correct order for all of the students. What you are going to be given is some array called heights which are going to represent the current order that the students are standing in and what you're going to need to do is go ahead and check the heights i against the ith student inside the expected to make sure that they are equal. Each time there is a heights i that's not equal to expected i, we want to go ahead and count up and return that number of indices. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples so we can kind of solidify what this is saying. For example number one, we've got the heights array equal to one, one, four, two, one, and three. And our expected array is going to be one, 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 two, three, four. So if you take a look at these, we have one out of place here at the four, we have one out of place here where the three is supposed to be, and we have one out of place here where the four is supposed to be. So that means that our output will be three. So this is how we're going to do the first example. Let's take a look at the next example. In this example, we're given a heights of array equal to five, one, two, three, four. And the expected array will be one, two, three, four, five. So as we can see, five is out of place, one's out of place, two's out of place, three and four are all out of place. So that means the output will be five because all of them are out of place. Finally, let's take a look at the last example. In this example, we're given a heights array of one, two, three, four, five. And now in our case, our expected array is also equal to one, two, three, four, five. So for this one, our output will equal to zero because all of them are in the correct order and they're all in the correct place. So let's go back up and take a look at our constraints to see if we can find any information that might help us out there. So taking a look at our constraints here, the first one we got is i is less than or equal to height set length is less than or equal to 100. Again, this is nothing special. This is just saying that the length of heights is between 1 and 100. So again, nothing too crazy here. This isn't anything special. The next one will kind of have a little bit of significance and the way that we actually implement this. The next one says that 1 is less than or equal to heights of i is less than or equal to 100. And what this is saying is that the numbers inside of the heights array are between 1 and 100. Now this is going to play a role in the way that we actually implement this because what our goal is going to be is it's going to want to go through the array of heights and determine both whether or not the expected heights as well as the current heights are matching. And if not, we want to go ahead and count up. And the fastest actually way to solve this is we want to go ahead and create sort of like a mock lookup table with a new array. Since we know the maximum value stored inside of the heights array is 100, then we can set our lookup table to have 100 indexes to kind of put each height into its own index. Then we can go ahead and keep track of how many of each value that we actually see. Whenever we go back through and loop, we can determine which elements are out of place and go ahead and count up whenever we actually see one out of place. And this will allow us to go through and get this done without having to sort them and check them that way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pseudocode that will actually get this going. For a pseudocode, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is say let frequency be a new array. Frequency will be our lookup table. Then we want to say for each element in the height array, we want to count up in the corresponding index in frequency. If it doesn't quite make sense right now, don't worry, we'll clear it up. Then after this loop, we want to go ahead and let current height be zero. Then we'll want to go ahead and loop through each element inside the height array again. While we're inside the height array, we want to say while frequency of current height is zero, this means that there's no heights that are course there's no heights at this index. So we want to go ahead and increment current height. Otherwise, if we do have a current height, we want to go ahead and check to see if the current height matches the heights of current index. Actually, we want to say if not equal to that. Then we want to go ahead and count up. And then we want to go ahead and decrement the frequency of the current height. And then once we go all the way through that second array, we'll go ahead and return that count. So it might not be that intuitive right now. However, whenever we walk through the example, it'll make a little bit more sense. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. 
So like I said at the beginning of this video, this one's a little bit more complicated and the example takes a little bit more time to walk through. So I'm going to probably do this in two parts. So firstly, our example, we're going to have heights equal to 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, and 3. So first we'll go ahead and make our frequency array. Then we'll go ahead and loop through all of our items. So i equals 0, heights of i is equal to 1. So that means we want to say frequency 1 plus plus. Then i equals 1, heights of i is equal to 1. So now frequency of 1 plus plus again, or i equal to 2, heights of i is equal to 4. So now we want to say frequency 4 plus plus for i equal to 3. Heights of i is equal to 2. So now we have frequency 2 plus plus for i equal to 4. Heights of i is equal to 1. So once again, frequency 1 plus plus. And finally, i equal to 5. Heights of i is equal to 3. So now we want to go ahead and say frequency of 3 plus plus. And now I'm going to go up to the top. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to keep these kind of separated and so that we can do all this in one page and whatnot. But now we have a frequency equal to 0. 3, 1, 1, 1. So we have 0, 0, 3, 1s, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4. So now we can start our second loop. So the second loop for i equal to 0. The current height is equal to 0. Heights of i is equal to 1. And our frequency of height is 0. So since frequency of height is equal to 0, we want to go ahead and say height plus plus. We're still in i equals 0. So now height is equal to 1. Our heights of i is still equal to 1. And now our frequency of height is equal to 3. So we'll continue on the loop. So now we want to go and check to see if height is equal to heights of i, which it is. This means that we don't count up. We're just going to go and continue and set frequency of height minus minus. So now for i equal to 1, our height is going to still be equal to 1. Our heights of i is equal to 1. And our frequency of height is equal to 2. So once again, we'll check to see if height is equal to heights i which it is in this case. So we just continue on and say frequency of height minus minus. Now i equal to two, our height is still equal to one. Our heights of i is now equal to four and our frequency of heights is equal to one. Once again, we check to see if heights is equal to heights i, which in this case it's not. So now we count up. Can we go ahead and say frequency height minus minus? Now at i equals 3, our height is still equal to 1. Now our heights of i is equal to 2. And our frequency of height is equal to 0. Since it's equal to 0, we're going to go ahead and say height plus plus. Now we'll have height equal to 2. Our heights of i is still equal to 2. And our frequency of height is equal to 1. We need to check to see if height is equal to heights of i, which it is. Which means we don't count up. We just go ahead and say frequency of height minus minus. Then we move on to i equal to 4, where our heights is still equal to 2 our heights of i will be equal to 1 and then run out of space here and our frequency is now equal to 0 so we're going to say height plus plus and now our height will equal to 3 our heights of i is equal to 1 still and now our frequency is equal to 1 now obviously 3 is not equal to 1 so this means we're going to count up. We'll go ahead and minus frequency and move on to i equal to 5. We have height equal to 3 still. Our heights of i is equal to 3 and our frequency is equal to 0. So since our frequency is equal to 0, we'll say height plus plus. And now our height is equal to 4. Our heights of i is equal to 3 and our frequency is equal to 0. So once again, our height is not equal to heights of i. So once again, we need to count plus plus. And we need to go ahead and subtract frequency. And this will be the end of the loop. And we'd return count which is equal to three. So again, a little bit more complicated, a little bit more smush there, but hopefully it works out. Let's go ahead and hop over to leak code so we can take a look at how we can implement this ourselves. So at the top here, we're gonna start with an integer called res equal to zero. Then we're gonna have another integer called current height, which is gonna also equal to zero. They're gonna have an integer array called frequency equal to a new integer array with 101 indices. Then we're gonna go ahead and say four and i is equal to zero. i is less than heights dot length and i plus plus. And we're gonna go ahead and say frequency of heights i plus plus. So we're going to go ahead and for each height, we're gonna to go to the indexing frequency and say plus plus. Then in our second for loop, four and i is equal to zero. i is less than heights dot length again in i plus plus. Now we're gonna say while our frequency of the current height is equal to zero, like we mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and say current height plus plus. Otherwise, we're gonna to check to see if the current height is not equal to the heights of i. If this is the case, we're going to go ahead and say result plus plus. At the end, we're going to say frequency of current height minus minus to go ahead and get that frequency down. Then at the very end of the entire thing, we'll go ahead and return our result. So this one, I might have went ahead and typo to heights or something. It looks all good to me. Let's go ahead and submit. Hopefully, you don't have any typos.
All right, cool. We didn't have any typos. And you see we have a zero millisecond runtime, which is going to beat 100%. We definitely could have had a little bit better memory usage, but I'm not that concerned about it. This one works out pretty well. A little bit complicated to go ahead and explain. And it takes a while to walk through, but it works out pretty well. Hope you all enjoyed and found some value inside this video. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'm Ethan Uncoder. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video.